Creates and from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. I'm here to do my junk journal my way, inspired by Shannon Green and Kelly Donovan. And last time we did this one. So I'm on to the next page right here. I've skipped this page. I'll come back to this at some point. But here we are at this one. And I'm working in a W magazine. Um, so, yeah. Um, so what I plan on doing is I have a bag full of stuff. Full of scrappy stuff. And so I'm going to use that today. And I'm just going to use, use, try to use as much of it up as possible. Um, so I'm going to try to use up as much of it as possible. So here's the scrappy bag. And I'm just going to work with whatever is in this bag. Um, because you know how you get that stuff? You collect it and then you don't know what to do with it after you've collected it? Well, yeah. So, just bear with me because I don't really honestly don't know where I'm going with this. Now, I've gessoed the paper with the DecoArt Media Gesso Paint, or whatever you call it, Gesso, white in the white, okay? And it's still a little damp, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to start by adding some stuff to it, and I've got to find my matte medium it's somewhere here what's left of it of the deco matte medium I'm going to use what's left of it and then I ordered some the other day some new ones so I'm going to use the deco art matte medium I like the deco art matte medium I just wish that it came in a bigger pot so I'm going to be writing to the company because I prefer that over the decoupage mat. The decoupage mat's great, but it still has a sticky feeling to it, so it does make my pages stick. That's the only drawback about this. So this might be good for like crafty stuff versus something you're going to put in a journal that might stick together. This might work well like on a canvas if you're going to decoupage something onto a canvas or something. This might work better. But yeah, so yeah, bear in mind. So I'm going to use this and I'm just going to work with whatever I've got. I've I've this bag of clippings is a lot of like scrapbooking paper, some of its pieces from magazines that I have cut out, and I'm just going to play. That's basically what this junk journal is all about. It's about play and experimenting. And this gives me a good opportunity to experiment with a lot of the deco art products since I'm part of the Helping Hand program. Now, if you don't know what the Helping Hand program is, I will list it at the bottom. And unfortunately, they don't accept everybody. I don't know why, but they don't. I guess they must have a certain type of criteria or something. I don't honestly do not know. So I'm just working with it. Now this came out of a... Um, I got this at an antique shop. This is where I get a lot of my ephemera from, and is antique shops. And this just looks like it was something... I don't know. This looks like this might have been an old library card or something. Yeah, because it's got an article. This must be like an old article or something. I'm not exactly sure, but anyhow, so I'm going to be putting this on as well somewhere. Like I said, I really don't know where I'm going with this, so just bear with me. Probably could have used a bigger brush, but oh well, it's okay. Oh, 
And I'm just working with pieces that I've received in Happy Mail in this bag. I've got leftover pieces of paper, pages from um, old books, um, printed pro objects, uh, just all kinds of little bits and pieces that I put in this Ziploc bag. And actually I had taken it with me when I went to Gina Aarons' house um, for my, our deco play day, our artsy day. And um, so I had left the stuff in a bag and I had used some of it for something else. And then it's still in the bag. The stuff's still in the bag. So I figured I'm going to use it today on this and just see what I can get with just playing with the stuff that's in here. So I'm just kind of looking through with what I've got and playing along with different pieces. I'm making marks. I'll make probably make some marks. I'm thinking I might want to play with some sprays today, but we'll see how messy I want to get. And so you guys can hear me better. I have ordered a better mic to add to my my uh, camera. And so hopefully then you'll get a better hearing, better sound quality as well. And yes, I know, I realize that there's times where I kind of do mumble in my videos and I don't mean to do that. Um, sometimes I'm thinking to myself out loud <laughs> when I am doing the videos. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, so I will try my best to... Uh, yeah, to try not to mumble as much anymore and to try to make it so that you guys can hear me. Okay, so sorry about that. If you haven't heard me clearly, I've had a couple of you say, um, it's great, I love your videos, but, you know, I can't hear you. So I'm going to be working on that, guys. It's a work in progress, right? And... Sometimes I have the camera on and I forget that I have it on and then I start just sort of mumbling to myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have to remember, okay, maybe there is somebody in the room. I pretend that you guys are in the room with me. And so that too, I'm, sometimes I'm thinking I don't have to speak that loud, but I guess I do, right? And clearly, that might help, you think? So, yeah. Alrighty, so I'm just kind of working with this in different places and just uh, trying to get it on the paper and I'm running out of matte medium. I'm trying to figure out places to put things on. And it's wrinkling up, and I don't mind it because this is, after all, a junk journal. And, yeah, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, yeah. And I collect, I, you know, yeah. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> when you start collecting even magazines and catalogs and things, it is like, wow, okay, um... It starts collecting and you start to look like a hoarder. You should see my, my art room right now. It is a absolute mess. Yeah, because I hoard all kinds of weird things and then people kind of go, really? Did you have to really <laughs> keep that? My family comes in and they just shake their heads because, yeah, they know what a mess it is. Um... So, I'm, I just collect all kinds of things, you know, all kinds of little bits and pieces of everything. I go through magazines now, cut everything out, and then I save it all. But at a certain point, it's like, 
yeah, it's time to use it and not just hoard it and keep it. And yeah, so that's a learning process because there's times where I save things and I go, oh, I'll save this for later. I don't want to use this. It's too pretty. I'll save this for later. And it's like later is never coming. So you have to use what you've got. Um, because, yeah, otherwise you will be climbing through a mountain of stuff. And, yeah, so I, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be doing that. I thought this was really cool, but I have, I have to get rid of this writing here somehow. So I'm going to add this to this. I like this chameleon. He's really, really cool. So I think I'm going to put him here. Because I am going to make marks and things after I get what I want to collage down. I'm going to add color and paint and all kinds of fun stuff. And, and the reason why I say this is inspired by Shannon Green and Kelly Donovan was because Shannon Green has done the journaling by fives. And it's timed. Okay, well, I've decided I don't want to do the timing part. And Kelly Donovan started a junk journal in a magazine. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I want to try that. So, yeah, so I got my W Magazine out. I have a subscription to it thanks to Gina. I call her my, my crafty enabler because <laughs> she often, um, yeah, she, I'll watch one of her videos and go, oh, that's so cool, I could do that. So, yeah, I keep everything thanks to her collaging pages and stuff. And the W Magazine, let me get back to that. She had, she has an order to it. And I had asked her one day what she, what she uses. And, you know, what magazines does she get her, her collaging stuff out of? And she said that she gets, she was using the W Magazine. So that's why... I have, um, yeah, have used, done that one, so yeah. So, on to cutting this piece out. This was out of a catalog or a house magazine of some sort, and it was about where to buy art online. And this was like an art piece from someone. And so I'm going to cut out this and add it to this particular piece and we'll go from there. Now I'm not going to cover the whole entire page in collage because yeah that would be too much but um, I'm going to add going to add extra paint and stuff on here so yeah. That's how that's going to turn out, I think. I'm kind of brainstorming out loud. Thinking out loud. Which I'm sure many of you do. Do you talk to yourselves? Hmm? Do you guys talk to yourself? Tell me if you do. Because I do it more and more these days. I find myself talking to myself a lot these days. Especially, my both my kids are working now. They're home. They're off of school for the summer. They start their college, um, some, you know, their college starts in September. Well, I think my daughter's is August, the end of August, and my son is the middle of September. And so they're gone most of the day, and my husband's at work, so I'm home alone with my three dogs, and my three cats, and my two fish, and my rat. My menagerie, okay? My menagerie. And so, uh, yeah. So I find myself talking to myself a lot more than I when than I used to. So I don't know whether it, it age has to play part of it, I'm sure, um, because I know that my mom talks to herself a lot, and so does my mother-in-law. And they're both up in age. They're getting up there in age. And so I'm finding I'm doing the same things that I thought, oh, I'll never do. I'll never talk to myself out loud. That's ridiculous. But, yeah, I find myself doing that more and more because I'm home alone a lot. 
as long as I don't answer myself, or maybe it's okay to answer with yourself, but if you start arguing with yourself, then I think you know you have a problem. <laughs> so anyhow, so I'm going to leave this to dry. This is part one. Okay, so that's the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two next week. Bye, toodles. Thank you.